Hey YouTube, this is W7MVP again. I haven't made a video in a long while, so I thought I would make this new one since there's about eight inches of snow outside, so I'm stuck inside. Um, the other day, I was helping a friend of mine uh, put up an antenna, and we worked all day, and he felt like he needed to give me something, and I was really surprised. It's something I've looked at and wanted for a long time. Um, but just haven't ever um, made the purchase. So what we have here is a iambic paddle Morris key for CW. So two friends of mine make this. Um, they do it at the af6l.com. It's David had the idea, put it all together, put the drawings together, and Eric is a machinist. He... Uh, Owns his own machine shop. He does kind of one-off things for Boeing. Um, so everything on this is crazy tight tolerance. It comes with the paddle. Um, the accessories here. Adjustment um, tools. Your hex keys. Um, adapter. And then a cable. So this is made out of a solid piece of billet aluminum. That is about five pounds. Which is amazing. And I'm going to take it apart and kind of show you how it's made. Um, so you basically a paddle key, you've got one size for dots and one side for dashes. You can hold them together and do a series. Um, I don't know a whole lot about uh, CW because I'm just getting started. I've been studying on and off for the past year. So um, I thought about doing a straight key, but to keep the rhythm on a straight key is really tough. And... I'm not wanting to make this a career or anything. It's more of some uh, kind of a hobby, but it's also for prepping. And with a, a paddle key, am, am, iambic key, you're not going to mess up. I think this is a dash. This is a dot. So you got dash, dash, dot, and you don't have to make a rhythm. You know, if I hold this down, it's going to just put a whole lot of dashes or a whole lot of dots out. And in your radio, you can switch it. If you want one side a dot, one side a dash, the radios will all do this. I use the ICOM 7300. I can put it in there as slow or fast as I want, turn the, the speed up and up or down, and it, it saves it and sends it out at the correct sp speed. Radios today are crazy. So let me go ahead and take, take this apart. They give you this um, Allen key for these... Uh, screws to come off. They're machine grade screws. All of this is 100% uh, US made. Oops. Everything's extremely tight tolerances on those. So look at that. You know this is this is a piece of aluminum. Each key sits in sits in here. They're just sitting here with friction. And so give you a close-up of that. That's a piece of solid aluminum. And how this works is they use magnets. So you've got a magnet set here and a magnet here, and that's what pushes in and out on it. And then you can also set your, your depth or your spacing on your key. So kind of set these out. Here's the inside of it. You know, that's that's there's no plastic there. That is that is a machine piece of aluminum. And you've got your pins pressed on in that these reside on. And here's your ground. Or maybe, no, your grounds are in here. This is just your um, spacer. So if you look, turn it over. This, this key right here, you can put it in here. And it comes in on these keys. It will come in and adjust. It'll go in from the side and hit that hex key, oh sorry, this hex key to make the adjustment. Then you have this one. You can come in here, right here, and make the adjustment of the uh, opposite magnet. So you can set your pressure on it. So you can set your distance and your pressure on these keys. It's all magnets. It's always going to be the same. Your spring's not going to wear out. So here we go 
Everything's machined. It's crazy. Anodized aluminum. Here's the back of it. This is the ninth key. I know he's made a couple of hundred. Um, and just wiring all of your connections are so soldered and crimped. So they're easy to get to. And he said he made this so everything is standardized sizes. So if you lose a screw, it's not something that you won't be able to find. Even, um, even you know, posts or anything like that. But nothing of this is going to come out. It's, it's a solid piece of aluminum. So we'll put it back together, showing you. So you can get in there, clean it out, you know, over the years. So to put it back together, we're talking that just slides down in there. This slides down there. And we can see the action of it. Doesn't matter how it's setting, it's magnets, you know. And then put these together. I'm not going to put them all together, but I'll show you. Put one in there. Dust covers down. I guess you could leave it loose if you want to just be able to see in there. But this is it. It is the AF6L Spirit Morse Key. Um, can be found in AF6L.com. These are pricey. I'm not going to lie to you. A couple hundred bucks for one of these. But it's kind of one of those buy once, cry once type of things. As you can see, there's not a key out there like this that is... Um, you know, something that you can take in the field, it's going to survive, it's going to survive anything on it. This is made basically like something uh, for an, a piece of aircraft or heavier. It is crazy nice. Again, hey, I appreciate you watching. Um, if, you, um, if you got any questions about it, uh, send me a comment. I'll see what I can answer. I think I pretty much showed you everything there is. I don't know what type of aluminum this is. You know, if you're going to ask that, I don't know. It's, it's aircraft grade, something that what they would be making parts for aircraft. It's hundred percent made in USA. It's actually all made in Idaho, North Idaho, um, around Spirit Lake, Idaho. So, um, Hey, I appreciate you watching this video. I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a, a subscribe. And maybe I can, one of these days, learn CW good enough to put it on the air and show people. But hey, again, this is W7 MVP signing off with the AF6L.com spirit key. Y'all have a good day.